But uh, so what do you got going here next? What's 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 up on the horizon for you? Any big plans? Coming out with a new mixtape called um, the Anarchist Cookbook. Yep. That's gonna feature a lot of MCs from Framingham. Cool. We're gonna have uh, the cadets on there. We're gonna have the movement. We're gonna have Goonies. We're gonna have Spit and Reckless. That's a good name, Goonies. Yeah, Goonies. Shout out to Face, you know what I mean? And um, just dudes from the, the local area. Havoc House is gonna be on there. Cool. And uh, we're working on the Big Ham Show. It's a local access channel. Oh, nice. We're gonna be coming to New Bedford. So good looking out. We First need more point. of that kind of stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have a hip hop show with local artists, artists being interviewed. You know, freestyles, videos. Yep. And um, basically, just creating a platform for like kids from um, all over Mass, basically to show their skills. That's needed for rap and for public access because the public access in my area is this massively obese man talking about old sci-fi movies. Well, Not it, too entertaining. You know what the thing I find too is some some people aren't ready for that. Like, some people don't even want you to have hip-hop there. Like, there's this is one town called Ashland. Yeah, I know Ashland. Ashland. Yeah. And for some reason, they keep giving me the runaround about airing my show. It's like, look, just tell me you don't want to air it because it's hip-hop or because it's vulgar or obscene yeah. to you. Just stop wasting my time, you know? Yeah, I hear that. And in some places, they're acceptable, you know? We well, get, go ahead. I'm sorry. We get it aired in, like, other towns like Natick, which has surprised me, Marlboro. We got it in Waltham. Yeah, Natick, that is a little surprising. Yeah, yeah. they're giving me less of a hard time than uh, Ashland is, you know? Hmm. So. Yeah, it's funny you mention that because when Tom and I first came on this station, which was how many years ago? Two and a half. Two and now. change. There was a big problem with the hip-hop shows, and I'm not sure they were too eager about having us on to start. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. I you're remember right. us talking in the class, and they were saying, I mean, I don't know. Who knows what it is? It, it can be <clears> annoying. <throat> I mean, for God's sake, it's a music like anything else. Rock and roll had these problems too once. I think people forget about that. Yeah, Jim one. Morrison, they made him like try to change one of his words in his lyrics. Yeah, Maybe it's light all my in fire. Show. And he said it anyway. You know what I mean? So you could tell right away that every genre went through it. It did. You know, every genre. At first, I thought it was all because it's, you know, the urban, you right. know, the minorities are doing it. But unfortunately, I think that is a part of it. You know, it is. People but are always a little bit afraid. Even, even some Pre people. Presley had the same problems. Yeah, too. Presley Thomas with his said, hips. Yeah, he did. With his hips. You know yeah. what I mean? So, Isn't that crazy, man? So I'm starting to see, like, every genre had it, but I think hip-hop has it the worst. You know? I think so. But, I mean, these days, I mean, I don't get it as, you know, it's for one thing, it's so commercial, you can make money off it. If nothing else, use it to make money. Why are people still afraid of this? I know we're talking public access, so that's a whole <laughs> different game, but... Uh, Anyway, why don't we uh, why don't we get back to some music here? We're gonna be playing a song from you guys. That Lunch force trauma. Yeah, and you said this is kind of a posse cut. Yeah, it's a posse cut. It's dirty skills and havoc house. Cool, and the beat is good. Who's the producer? Advocate. Advocate. Man, right. Advocate. And let me just say, I just want to say, well, I've not been reading off what we've been playing. Way back at the top of the hour, we had Jackson and Golden Child with scattered pictures. We had Mateo's beat, Ed O.G. and Halifax. Halifax were on that one, with y'all ain't saying. Y'all ain't really ready. Y'all ain't really ready. And again, Mateo gets produced. We have not had a lot of music in this show. I think we've played about 11 songs here so far, but uh, it's a free form right here. We're trying to do things different because we got two guests, and you got to respect your guests. My mom taught me that. <laughs> so anyway, I got some uh, new Mo Steph coming up. Then we got some Jackson coming up. We got some Mateo coming up after that. It's almost 11 o'clock. We're here for another hour. DJ Jules is on next. Give us a ring, 508 999 8150, section 35. Nice guy, right? Tommy No More, Jackson, and Mateo. Peace. Yo, call up if you can't hear us. Well, I you, and we got our special guests, as you all know, Mateo and Jackson from Framingham, Massachusetts. It's popping and locking. And I promised oh, Mateo geez. an interview. Tom, are you taping this? I am. Apparently, Tom, who is a, by all means, an intelligent, well-spoken guy, becomes a muppet when he tries to interview <laughs> people, and now he's afraid of it. I think you're fine. You're <laughs> no, too hard I'm not on that good. You're too hard on yourself. Nah, my interview you're, you're skills just aren't I'm going to prop you up. You're a talented man. Thanks. Prop oh. you up. I'm going All right, to anyway. prop you up. <laughs> <laughs> Help me out there with that one. You know what to say, no homo. Anyway. <laughs> Did you just say no homo? <laughs> yeah. Jules, have you heard about this thing on no, YouTube? No, no homo, homo goes too far. And for oh, all the people know. listening, these are just jokes, people. All right, we're not, we're not a biased group. But, uh, all right, so yeah, I had a couple questions for you. Now, obviously, my first question, and this is in relation to this track that we just heard, and don't freak out because I'm going to turn the microphone your way just to make sure we can hear this. Is how and why and uh, when did you get to work with KRS One? And uh, please go into details because I don't have many other questions. Well, this is what happened. Um, my boy Halifax, he's a rapper out in Canada from Halifax, Nova Scotia. 
he hooked up with KRS One because I think KRS One was doing a tour um, around there, and then they hooked up I think through their managers or whatever, and then. I sent them the beat, and then I tracked it out, sent it to him, and then he ended up doing it. This happened like a year ago. I just recently got the track, and then that's how that came about. And then I just got it, and, you know. And the rest is history, as they say. Pretty much. Now, uh, so you never actually did meet him in person? No, I haven't, really. Pretty crazy. It's how it works these days. Yeah, pretty much. You know, in the old days, you would have to pay him a bunch of money. He'd fly into your studio, and... You'd have to actually see him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he's big, too. And homely. I mean, who wants to see him? No, no. That's not... That's a Godfather rap right there. I'm not saying that. He edit that from the uh, from the video. That'll be stricken, <laughs> That'll be stricken from the record. Uh-huh. Wasn't that them guys from uh, Third Eye? Yeah, nah. I, I guarantee you Karis One's not going to recognize me. That's pretty clear. But uh, now, as I asked Jackson, now what do you got? Uh, what's on the horizon for you? What, what, what are some plans? What do you got coming up? Bunch of, I got this new mixtape I'm working on called Six Degrees of Mateo Getz. Yep. Um, I got this album I'm doing called The Getz Collection. I'm doing um, the Anarchist Cookbook. I'm mixing that for Jackson's new mixtape that we're working on right now as we speak. It's almost done. Cool. Um, doing a bunch of tracks, trying to work with MOP. I just hooked up with them. Yeah, so. you said that, yeah. So I'm building with them. I got, I got a couple songs on Thurston Howe's new album coming out in, I think, a year. Who you've done stuff with, because I know he's on, uh, I think he's on Affirmative Jackson, if I'm not mistaken, and... Yeah, we, we, we've done a lot of collabs. Yeah. yeah. Every time he's he comes sharp, out to He's sharp, man. Framingham, I think that guy. Every time he comes to Framingham, he checks me and Jackson, so... Yeah, pretty always, crazy, man. Always going to studio with him, shows, venues, take him around. All yeah. around Boston or whatever. And he goes back further than I even knew about it. Now, I thought he was pretty much like a 90s guy, but he goes way back. Yeah, he's old school. Yeah, he is old school. I got this another hip-hop book I got called Where'd You Get Those? About like the sneaker culture in New York City in the uh, in the early 80s. And he's in that in like 84. I was like, I had no idea. Yeah, he, Way he, back. He's seen hip-hop at its best. He has. You know? Talented guy. Funny guy, too. Good sense of humor. 